Do you even know when you're negotiating? My name is Jan Patkire, founder of JPA. Here at JPA, we are expert business negotiators who help professional buyers and sellers to gain the clarity, confidence, skills and tools they need to blast past their objectives. So it's so interesting for me to understand that um, very few people consciously invest in the development of their negotiation skills. Would you believe it? But more than 50% of people who work for large organizations, Fortune 500 and FTSE 100 organizations, have never ever participated in negotiation training. As a matter of fact, an even more staggering statistic is that more than 80% of people who work for these organizations, and we're talking about large organizations, hundreds of thousands of people working for some of these companies uh, or organizations, have not even read a book on negotiation. The reason for this is that they simply don't understand that what they're doing is negotiating, right? So if you look at the Latin root of the word negotiate, negotiate to us, it means whatever you do that is not leisure. So effectively, if you're not relaxing, if you're doing anything else, you're negotiating. So if you're working, you're negotiating. The act of working is negotiation. You're trying to find, uh, or, or, or you're trying to close deals. You're trying to do transactions, you know, when you agree to work for a company, that's a transaction. When you agree to uh, accomplish a project, that's a transaction. Uh, you know, when you, when you agree to do a certain task or to ask for a budget, that's a negotiation. Never mind the formal buying and selling. What's happened with these large organizations is, you know, and I, I understand this, is to make sense of things. You know, as, as structures have been created, what we've done is we've started discerning between buying and selling as two distinct things. So we see, you see on the one side we have buyers, and the other side we have sellers, but in fact it's the same thing. If we're buying, we're really just selling a budget. And if we're selling, uh, you know, we, we're trying to convince other people to move in our direction to, to buy our products. So um, it's effectively the same thing. All of it is char characterized as negotiation. If you think that buying and selling are two distinct things and that they're not negotiation, you, you're missing a significant opportunity to maximize the value from being or doing life as, as a worker at negotiating, earning a living, right? Um, key to understand, therefore, negotiation is not an event at all. It's a process. It's something that happens every day. You negotiate with your kids um, before you even get to work. You, know, you, you negotiate with your co-workers. You negotiate with, with stakeholders in the company. You negotiate with uh, your counterparts, with buyers, with sellers, with community stakeholders. It's, it's all around you. You know, so if... If you don't understand when you're negotiating, then of course you're not going to understand how best to optimize the results of your negotiation. So uh, what I want to challenge you to do is to make sure that every interaction you have with other people, uh, be it in a work environment, that you focus on how you can optimize that exchange by applying negotiation best practices consistently. Don't save the application of those negotiation best practices only for the formal settings within which you negotiate. They work because they're based on human nature. They work in your exchanges with all people. So remember, life is a negotiation.